welcome back to my channel. As you guys can see, I'm in my car. I haven't done a car talk in a minute, but I just felt like this. I just felt this video in my soul tonight. Um, I'm just getting off work and I cannot even wait to get home to try to do no setup to try nothing. Like I had to get this out because it's been one of those shifts where you're like questioning everything in life. <laughs> Okay, so basically, you know, everybody always says like, you know, what is it like being an RT rather than a nurse? Do you feel respected by the nurses? It truly depends. Tonight, it was just so much disrespect and just so like, just really trying tonight because I'm always gonna be, I'm, I'm always gonna be a real ass person. Like straight up, straight the fuck up. That's just how I am. I can't hide it. I can't fake it because that's just not who I am. I'm always going to be a real ass person. Okay. So I just feel like, and I'm always respectful. So I feel like if I'm respectful, then you should be respectful. You feel me? You know what I mean? You follow my drift. So basically, you know, everybody's always asking like, how do you feel about the nursing and RT uh, dynamic? It's shitty. I'm not gonna lie like there are more nurses out here just waiting and plotting and just doing things just to get RTs in trouble I feel like that's just my experience I can't say it for everywhere across the board that's what it is but working different places and being in clinic different places I have seen it happen everywhere it's just the culture it's the nurse RT culture that's just what the fuck it is okay you know what i mean so when you're in respiratory school you know you follow your preceptors and your preceptors more than likely have been there for years they're old timers the people that you know the management trusts to you know have students blah 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 so usually you know they have been around the block a few times so they know all the nurses the nurses all know them they're highly respected blah 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 well, honey, that is not what it's like for you when you get out of respiratory school. Like, you have to prove yourself. And sometimes, you know, it doesn't matter how good you are or how bad you are. It doesn't matter because, you know, they are going to... I swear I keep seeing something, like, going behind me. But um, I swear, like, sometimes the nurses try to get you in trouble like I don't know what it is I don't know what the beef is I don't know if it's because we have more downtime than them I don't know okay I just I don't know and I'm not saying all nurses are bad because there are some wonderful nurses there are wonderful nurses that I've gotten to work with that are my you know one of some of my best friends that you know all that good stuff all that great stuff all that great all that great stuff but there are, I swear, like the fuck. Mm. But there are nurses who, I, okay, let me, let me say the situation today. So um, in report, I got that, um, you know, okay, you know, you need to look out for this and this and this. I didn't do this, but you know, and I hate when people do that. Don't leave me with your mess and your shit from your shift. Because then when I come in, you know, then everybody is attacking me, which is exactly what happened. Everyone started attacking me. And I'm like, I just got here. I have no idea. Like, let me, like, get my treatments done. But it was like, I was like, literally, like, okay, this, like, you will also learn a workflow. You will also know, you know, what needs to be done right now and what can wait. So usually first rounds, you need to get all your assessments, all your treatments, all like everything, getting to know your patients. Your second round is usually when you stalk, when you change things that need to be changed. You, you know what I mean? Those are the times that you make like cosmetic changes. You know what I mean? Things that weren't urgent and things that could wait, which this situation could have waited um but my nurse felt like 
he should call me six times in the middle of my round to tell me to come do something cosmetic. I feel like I don't tell you when to do your things. I don't, you know, I'm not like, oh, you need to change that suction catheter because that is full. Like, if you do that on your last round, you do that on your last round. I'm not going to sit up here and tell you what to do. I'm just not. It's not my job. It's not my place. It's not my role. Okay? So, I am literally finishing up my first rounds when I get this phone call from my aggressive ass nurse. I'm like trying to keep a positive attitude it's my first day back after christmas i'm not tripping okay let me go talk to the family because you know i've already talked to one family member clearly there was a miscommunication let me go back and let me readjust let me readdress um tips and tricks always go like right away if you're called because rts have a bad rap of not fucking coming when they're called and I'm not gonna lie, it's because sometimes they call for bullshit, which this is bullshit, but I went anywhere. So I went, I talked to the family, we had an understanding. I proceeded to leave the room. Before I left the room, is there anything else that I can do for you? Blah, 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 blah. No. Cool. You know, so I go on about my business. Then I get a call as I'm like gathering my stuff to start stocking for my second rounds. Um, I always start my rounds early because I like you start early, you finish early. But just in case, like you know, something happens, blah blah blah. Your work is still done. You're not so far behind because you started right at eleven o'clock or right at seven o'clock. Like you give yourself like some time to like you know treat yourself. Um, so I get this call uh, again from an aggressive ass nurse. And I'm like, hey, respiratory, how can I help you? And he's like, well, why didn't you do this? And I'm like, yo, hold on. I don't do that my first rounds. I spoke with the family. It was fine. Like, I'm gathering my stuff now. And before I could finish my sentence, like, he cut me off. So irritating. Still kept my cool, though. I was like, he cut me off, and he was just like, well, you should have just done it your first No, no, because guess what? It was not emergent. It was not it was not something that needed to be done right that moment. It just wasn't. Okay? It wasn't. And and I have the right to decide, you know, what is, you know, what needs to be done right now and what can wait till my second rounds. I literally start my second rounds maybe two and a half hours after I finish my first rounds. So it's not like it's a whole long big time in between my rounds, it's really not. Because like I said, I start early. Um, but so I'm like, dude, trying to explain to this nurse, like chill out, calm down, let me explain, let me talk to you, Let can we talk? But there was no freaking talking to him he was just so loud i was just like i was on the phone with my husband and my husband was like the fuck like why is he yelling because he's a fucking aggressive ass bitch. but i was just like you know what let me get, hold, on, hold on hold on let me just go over there let me just like i can't i don't like to do the over the phone shit because people get like phone courage like they like to yell at you on the phone like yeah bye 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 and then when you get in their face, they're like, oh, yeah, because, um, so I don't like to do the phone shit. Like, let me just come, let me just call the straight to your face. Let's talk about this, like, adults, like, a professional adult that we are. You know what I mean? So I get to the room who, who, I get to the patient's room. Nobody is there. Which I'm confused because just a minute ago, like, it was so much chaos. I'm like, what the fuck? So uh, I go over to the nurse's station and I'm like, what happened? I thought this was so urgent and the and this was happening and this was happening and none of that was happening. So he just was like, again, like I said, phone courage. You know, he's like, well, you know, I just wanted to give you a heads up because blah, 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 blah. And I'm like thinking to myself like, bitch, like you're not giving me no heads up. I didn't do 
anything wrong you're yelling at me over the phone and I, this and this also goes to say like i don't feel like the head of the hospital should be a nurse you know what i mean because of course you're going to protect your own like you're that's just that's just nature that's just what's going to happen you're going to protect your own like if i go and i'm to my supervisor and i'm like yo i feel personally attacked i feel personally harassed i feel like this nurse was very aggressive to me do you think that they give a fuck they don't give a fuck ain't nothing gonna be done nothing that's just what it is and like it kind of sucks because it's like fuck like this is my job this is my career it's not like i'm like working at mcdonald's and i can go work at burger king tomorrow you know what i mean it's not like that like i went to school for this i got a whole degree in this so it's not something that i can just be like okay fuck it i'm, I'm done with it you know what i mean it's something that like i have to come to grips with like you know, people are not going to respect you the way that they should. You have to earn your respect and demand your respect. Like, I feel like you should give me the same respect that I'm giving you. If I'm disrespectful to you, by all fucking means, be disrespectful to me. But if I'm not, if I'm super respectful and I'm trying to solve this problem with you, I need you to get your panties out of the fucking bunch that they're in and talk to me like a fucking professional, okay? Because there's nothing worse than just having somebody who is aggressive and then passive aggressive and not helping. And you know, it's like, we're a team. At the end of the day, we're a fucking team. So if we don't work together, our patient suffers. But instead of us like working to, and it goes both ways, it goes like, the RT feeling like the RN is stupid. That's not the case. Neither one, not the RN, not the RT is a stupid, they, they, there's just not a stupid person. You know why? Because getting through both the respiratory school and nursing school is not something that you could just wake up and just be like, fuck it, like I'm just about to just get this whole ass degree. That is not it. Like you have to be smart. And I don't give a fuck if you just book smart. You gotta have some smarts because you gotta pass your classes. You gotta pass your boards for a respiratory. You gotta pass two boards. So you know, whatever. I just feel like the culture between RNs and RTs suck. They suck asshole. Okay, and that's my little rant. And you know, for those students and those new grads coming out, like, stay strong my peeps stay strong because there are so many people out here rooting against us for whatever reason but yeah now thought i would come through and drop that video real quick since i haven't got to drop a video this week and it's mainly because christmas but you know don't forget to like subscribe and comment yo girl i really i really appreciate all the support that i have been getting from you guys i really appreciate it don't forget to follow me on instagram for the sake of sanity and i will see you guys with another video <laughs>